Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute and by a minute I mean it's been about a month since I've been able or even feeling like recording. So um, if you've come back after my hiatus, then thank you so much and welcome back. So today I'm going to be trying out new makeup and I also just be doing a little chit chat about basically what's been going on with me and where I've been. So if you are interested to kind of hear me ramble and try new makeup because it's makeup like you know I said makeup life. But anyway, if you're interested to see kind of what I got and what I've been doing, then please stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm going to start off by using the eyebrow pencil that I normally use and that is the Precisely My Brow and I'm in the shade 5. So, um, I don't know if I should speak through this or just talk through or I don't know yet. I'm just, I am just going to just do my brows and just chit chat. So. Like I said, I've been gone a while, and if you know anything about life, then yeah, life has been happening. Um, a lot of you, probably most of you, may not know, but um, I lost my parents a few years back, and they passed with, um, within 10 months of each other, um, right around Thanksgiving, and then around Christmas. And so usually when it gets around that time, um, it's a little hard for me to stay focused and stay creative. And you know, we've had challenges in family, just like every family does, just um, struggles and challenges and things like that. So um, I'm just trying to stay in the moment, which I just did that too because my eyebrows get really oily so I thought I would just go ahead and powder them down first and see if that helps. Um, yeah, so just kind of trying to stay in the moment um, and stay present because, you know, it's easy to mentally check out, you know. And so it's just been... The holidays just bring that out anyway and then if you're already um, have some issues that you're dealing with then you can just intensify or exacerbate that situation so um, what's been helping me is staying with well not staying with but keeping in touch with family and supportive family and supportive friends and my church so I'm a big believer in God and my faith um, has really <laughs> carried me through. Um, more specifically, um, serving. So a lot of times when we are going through things, the best way to um, the best way to kind of distract yourself. If you're going through something is to help someone else you know you're helping someone with their problem and God will be helping you with yours and then try not to obviously you have to think about it sometime but not focus on focus on it because as we all know what we focus on gets bigger um, what else I've also uh, I've moved my studio and I've moved it into uh, my basement and so when I was taking my studio down I was just like okay help me you know my daughter is like oh, sorry oh my gosh I'm like help me take this down and it was just so freeing to just put everything away um, I know this video also is gonna be kind of all over the place because I'm just rambling and doing my makeup and talking so um, so I was putting things away and it was just so freeing. It was freeing because I realized I have so much stuff, 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 stuff 
And I'm like, I don't need all of this crap. And I just felt very motivated to start um, purging. And I'm sure it was kind of a type and shadow of me just like purging from inside my feelings, my thoughts, my emotions. Um, sometimes subconsciously that stuff is like still running in the background like an app it's just still running in the background and you find yourself getting tired and you don't know why you're getting tired and you're like, oh my God, why am I getting tired so so many things that can affect our day-to-day -day. you find that you're not focusing or you're just craving things like I noticed that when I'm getting really stressed I crave like sweets sweets I'm not a candy eater but I will begin to um, crave chocolate, or just sweets in general. So kind of learning about yourself helps immensely with that because, oh boy, you don't even realize you're kind of going in left field until either someone that you know or loves, like, hey, what's going on with you? I know this, blah, blah, blah. Or you just kind of check yourself, you know? Um, this is the Fenty uh, 420, the Fenty Concealer 420. I just have to clean up under my brows. But I have missed you guys. Um, as I was setting my studio back up, I realized just how much I really did miss it. I'm like, I, I really, really did miss it. Um, so yeah. And the thing about it is, it's, it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, you can be 18 or 25 or 55, and if you have issues and you're having problems, then guess what? You're having issues and you're having problems. Like, nobody is immune. This might be a long video, too. <laughs> but um, no one is immune to um, going through things. And I think a lot of times we have to remember that about our teenagers as well. I have two teenagers and, you know, sometimes we'll say, what you have to worry about? You know, you don't have to worry about this or you don't have to worry about that. But just because their problems aren't as big as ours does not mean it's not a big problem to them. But the thing about it is the big letter P, perspective, is helping them put things in perspective. Um, that just, whew. If you put your life in perspective, it's life changing. Why do I feel like I forgot to do how to do my brows? But yeah, you put things in perspective, it can be completely. Ooh, that brow, I don't like it. Completely life changing. I do have some new products here today, but um, I purchased these about really about a month ago, like right after my last video, I purchased them. And I just haven't even used them. Like your interest, like my interest, and it, it was just gone. It was just gone. And you just need to be able to get your mind back. You know what I mean? Get your mind back. Find a church. Get into a small group. My church is really big on that. Small groups. You know, you see people and you think, oh my God, they look like, you know, like they have it together. And the thing that I'm finding out about getting older, a lot of things stay the same as far as um, uh, the complexity of situations. So it's like, it's small here, but as you grow and you get older and life experience, it gets bigger because you're getting older it's just more complex but you know it's it's how do I explain this I can't really explain it I can't think of the words that I want to say but the scripture or the verse um, give us this day our daily bread like God gives us enough for each day so the strength that I need for today that strength bread is what I have for today a year from now, I may need a different level of strength, and guess what? I have a different level of strength for that day. Um, but yeah, I told you this is kind of all over the place. But I just kind of want to tell you guys and share with you guys kind of what's been, what I've been doing and why I haven't um, been on here. So, not that I've, you know, I don't have a love for makeup, but you know, when you're feeling just kind of like blah, it's hard to get motivated. And um, I'm feeling 
a lot better. Although I still have my moments, I'm still feeling overall better, I believe. So, you know, it's just, it's waves. So I know on here it's hard, you know, they say you need to be, you know, really consistent on your channel and things like that, which I do agree, but you know what? Life. So I do what I can. You guys do what you can. It could be a snow day. It's a snow day. I'll close my business today because it's a snow day. So I'm just home and I'm thankful. And um, yeah, Fenty, this is, oh wait. To use 450. I want to do 450 to do the top part of my brow. So this is closer to my skin tone. Like I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for what I have um, for my life. Um, good or bad, easy, problems, not problems. I'm just, I'm glad for this life that I have. And it's a blessed one. And so that is what I'm working on focusing on. If any of you have ever lost, which who hasn't lost someone? You know, we all grieve differently. The timing on how we grieve is different. You know, it's just having that support is just because sometimes you just want to kind of get off to your. Oh, look at that eyebrow. It's just, I don't like this eyebrow at all. We have to have that support. A lot of times we just want to kind of get by ourselves and not, you know, share with anyone. It's like, I don't want to know my business. And really, that's probably the worst thing you can do, not that you need to tell everybody your business, but um, getting with someone that you can trust and that you know cares for and loves you. Like having that is just tremendous. I saw a quote today, I don't remember where I saw it, but it said something like, um, friends are the family that you can choose. It was something to that effect, and I thought, that's so cool. And I have really good friends, and a really great husband, and family, and siblings, you know, so my life is very enriched, but that does not mean I'm immune to not having my days. My good days, and my bad days. Who my mom used to sing this song. Ooh, she used to sing that song. So brows are done-ish. So what was I saying before? Um, I want to do a gray-ish look, like for winter. It's snowing today, so I'm feeling like a little, maybe cool tone today. Um, I bought the ColourPop Smoke Show. It looks like this. So cool toned. So I got this today. What else did I buy? Oh, I did buy the Jaclyn Hill highlighting highlighter palette, the Flare. Looks like that. It's real pretty. And what else did I get? I bought the Fenty Beauty um, lip balm, lip balm like kit thing. I don't know if y'all be using that one. I don't know to keep it cool. And then I also bought the Fenty Beauty um, foundation. This is the dewy one in 445 though. So I don't know. So I've not tried it yet, but. 445 so I'm pretty excited about that yes okay so what can I use to get started on this it's not good on video but I'm sorry um I want this to come out really cute all right I'm gonna use this JH30 2 brush and go into slow These are so, and these are shimmery too. Um, I guess I go into Stone Face, which is this color here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't usually do cool colors. So, 
I don't know how this is gonna work on my skin. It might come off, is it gonna come off white or ashy? I don't know. Okay, yeah. It looks almost silvery, yeah. Um. I don't think this is gonna have too many layers to it. I hope I don't mess this up. I hope I don't mess this up. Oh, my lips dry. Lips dry. It's almost Christmas. Today is, I hope I can get this up, but today is. December 20, no, I said 20. Today is December 16th, it's a Monday. That's when I'm recording this. And so I hope to have this up like really, really fast. I really hope to have this up really, really fast. Does that look ashy? I mean, it kind of does, but. See, my eye hair, it folds. See that? See how it folds? Like, my hit, hid. My hood is, my lid, <laughs> my lid is sometimes hooded. Sometimes you can see it like today, and then sometimes it's like not there, and I don't know why that is. But when it's folded like that, I really have to make sure that I, Put a deeper darker color there like they're both pretty i look dead on like they're both pretty hooded today and one is usually not but when you get older it starts to droop anyway you just walk around looking like this hi you know you walk around looking like that but yeah so um the next color i'm going to go in is this slated color which is a deeper color deeper gray Let's see what that looks like oh it looks kind of dark I'm gonna put that like right on this hood, like right there. Cause we want to, that color to kind of go back. And this is the Morphe M433 brush. I never mentioned, mentioned the brushes that I use. I don't know why I just pick them up, but I'm gonna try to remember to start doing that for those that are trying to get into makeup and you're just like, Ooh. So I'm getting smaller into my crease, and so my brushes are getting smaller. Let's see here. Smaller. This is like more concentrated. I want a more concentrated color. So I'm getting right there. There's that hood. Hi hood. Hi hood. <laughs> you never want to put a bright shadow there. A lot of women make that mistake. It's like if you have like hood, which is basically fat, and you go in with a bright color, it just makes your eyes look puffy and swollen. And it's just about placement. Just about placement, that's it. You can see that it's deeper. Um, so if I look straight on, it's not as, um, it doesn't look as hooded. I'm trying to check my time. Um, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what look I'm doing with this. Um, let's go in with this black. I'm gonna use a different brush. And this is the JH40. I'm thinking about maybe doing a, a halo look. I've been kind of really enjoying those lately. And that means I'm going to leave the center kind of open. But I do want to get that color deposited on there. And this is Let's Do It. That's just the black color that's in there. I don't think I have a brush like this, so this is really nice. Like this is a really nice brush, especially yeah. You, 
I like this brush. I like this brush. And I'm kind of bringing that black up just to kind of deep, help deepen the crease too. I'm going to mix it with that and go up into that crease a little bit. Then I'm going to take that original brush that I was using here and just kind of buff out the edges so you don't have that harsh line. Then, like I'm going backwards. So now the original brush. So I bought this brush from Smashbox, and it's called the Shadow Pat, the Shadow Paddle. I want to say palette, Shadow Paddle, and it looks like this. It's like rubbery. So. Um, the lady said that it's supposed to mimic your finger. Like if you're doing this, it's supposed to mimic that. So let's just see. I'm going to take smoking and put that in the center. Let it pick up. Oh, it does pick up. Look at that. But okay. I mean, yeah, I guess I can see it a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Not bad. I actually like it. Um, then I'm gonna go in with full metal to kind of brighten it up. I'm just gonna flip the brush over and see if that, if I can get a little brighter in there. Not that bright. I'm going with that full star struck and dab the center. Ooh, there we go. I need to blend this. I think that's pretty. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead just to make for the sake of the video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and put my lashes on and then I will be right back. Okay, got my eyes done. I think it turned out, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I've been doing this look a lot lately uh, versus like inner or brighter in the inside and then deeper where you get the, the cat eye effect, but I've really been liking the halo effect. So, that's what it is. Okay, so what am I gonna do first? I'm going to go in and prime. So, like I said, I did pick up the Fenty. I did not get the, um, I did not get the primer to go along with it. So I'm going to use um, the original primer that I bought, which is a soft matte. Um, this is a dewy. I do have oily skin, so with it being a winter time, I was hoping that you know it's going to work out okay. So. Yeah, we shall see. I'm gonna go ahead and prime. I never know how much primer to put on. I never know. So I always wind up putting way, way too much on. So do I have any Capricorns in here? Let me know in the comment section. Same Capricorn. Have a birthday coming up next week. Uh, Christmas Eve to be exact. So I'm pretty excited ish. I mean, I'm another year older. Let's see how old do I be? <laughs> 44. Yeah. But you know what? You are as young as you feel. And in my mind, we're not going to talk about my mind. Like, we're not going to talk about how I feel in my mind. But in my mind, I'm like, I feel. Still feel energetic as if I was 18, 20, right? So, where's my, oh, that's what I was gonna put on. 
I'm going to use the for Sally. You guys know I have been using that lately and I've been loving the results on that. Again, I never know how much to put on here. Is it in there? Like why wanna come out the Okay, and I'm also going to powder before putting on my foundation. And for that, I am going to be using the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Powder in medium deep. I just dump it upside down. Oh, this stuff is like almost nothing. Luckily, I got a new one on deck. Excuse me. Yay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I noticed when I do that, my foundation, I saw Jackie Aina do this, and I was like, did that work? And I was like, I tried it, and I'm like, okay, it do work. <laughs> I've tried it in other videos before, but I've really gotten to the point where I'm doing it a lot, um, almost with every... Uh, foundation application because I find that it really does extend the life of your foundation so if you have not tried that then yeah you should do that you should do that so we're going to use this uh, Fenty Beauty and this is the hydrating formula and this is in the shade 445 now my previous one the pro matte I had that in 420 because um it matched my chest but since I purchased that they've come out with an extended shade range and um, I'm thinking that this is going to work at least I'm hoping it is oh it look a little orange oh gosh and this is full to medium coverage Okay, so we'll see what happens if it oxidizes down or not. We'll see. I can always mix it. Something like that's not right. I don't think it's horrible though. It kind of applies like the uh, Too Faced uh, Spice Rum. Kind of puts me in the mind of that. So, um, how many of you guys are using like an eye serum at night? Because as you get older, the under eye is the first place to start to get that starts to get really dry. So if you if you aren't using a serum, I would suggest that you do so. Um, feels okay. Feels okay. Uh, next, what am I gonna do? I'm going to go in with. Um, some concealer and this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I'm using the shade Dark 40. So with concealer, I find that if I put it down lower, I've seen a lot of people do this. And I'm like, see, I watch YouTube too and I, I'm still learning um, different tricks and things like that. And so as I learn them and then I try them, then I share them onto you. That's, you know, what 
I do. So I used to bring it all the way up, but here I'm just gonna bring it here, like down lower. And what I've seen them do is to blend it up so that you don't have all the excess up there. So if you start there and you blend out, then the bulk of it is here. But if you blend up, then, you know, it's an easier blend. Plus with this uh, concealer, I love ColourPop because it's so easy to blend. Okay, so easy. And I just bring it right up into my under eye. That. Oh, start blending. I'm just gonna take it up. Look at that. All right, up under there. Yes, I like it. I like the look that it's giving me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and contour, and I'm gonna use the same thing I always use, and that is the Lancome Tint Idol um, Stick Foundation in the shade 555. Wait, this is a cool tone. Um, it's a cool tone color. Can't find it. Um, I don't know how this is gonna come out. Because it really just. I don't know how well it's gonna come out. There we go. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Is it? Trying to be more organized this year. I am trying. I am trying. I'm trying to get my mind right. I'm trying to start before the new year. I really am. Um, I'm trying to get organized. I'm trying to get my life, honey. Child. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in the shade 30. I'm in one of my favorites. I'm gonna go under and set that powder. I don't want to put too much because I still have to go back under there with my um, eyeshadow. I really want to work on just pressing it in. Getting the color to balance the face out. This is the Pure Sculpting Palette, and it's in Deep. Is it Deep? It doesn't say. Where's my shade? Looks like that. I'm just going to go over where I originally put the contour to set it around. Um, how to shop your own closet because how many times have you bought something it's like oh I can't find it because it's a whole organization deal and then you start looking around and you realize man I already had something like that or even going to the thrift store and getting some for five dollars <laughs> or ten dollars versus forty or fifty dollars Okay, so that is that. Like, I feel like it looks weird here, like around my cheek area. I need to take this powder all over my face now. And for that, I am going to use the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Use that to set all over. Okay. 
I'm liking this though. I don't know how to it. I don't know. Alright, so I'm just gonna go under this black. There's no cute way to put this on. I've seen people put lipstick on really cute, lip gloss, under eye shadow. There's no cute way to do it. It's not like, no, you have to, you have to make a face. If you don't make a face, it's not gonna come out right. <sighs> it's not. Sorry. Right. I don't really want to blow this out down here. So because I want to make it. When I say blow it out, I want it to kind of come down a little further. I want to use a bigger brush. Kind of mix that. It's cool tone. Cool tone look. So now I'm going to, I want to make the inner corner bright. Um, I'm gonna go in with this color here, which is Stone Face. And let's see what it does. I like it. I like it a lot. So we have that. Um, yeah, this highlighter. This Jacqueline Hill highlighter. Like, I feel like my face is really dewy, which is great for the winter. But I don't know. So I don't want to use this because you know I'm going for a cool tone look. So I guess I can go with this. This one which is glow up. It's my brush, I've been using it. I like the brush. This is the brush that came with it. It was like a set. And it's really nice. Also, what I'm going to do, because I've been wanting to do this slightly, I'm going back into this ColourPop and I want to put some like on the high point of my brow. And I like that it's matte since I have all the shimmer on my face. Like, I like that this is matte. And it's just a touch. Yeah, that glow is. Oh, I feel like I need to uh, blend it in a little bit more. Like, I don't know if this. I really. It was looking like kind of a strip on my face. 
I don't know if it's because I can see better out of this eye and it just looks better. Ooh. Yeah, I got my hair braided down in the here. It's like braided. Three big plaits. Braids. Alright, so don't want to forget. Oh, you know what? I ain't put an eyeliner on. This is the Makeup Forever eyeliner in black. Another thing, there's no cute way to put this on it either. Okay. Oh. Gosh. Oh my gosh, I just realized. See, I got the Mocha Mommy and it's going to warm up my skin, which I do like. I was just wondering if I should, so I'm going to cool tone look, but it's just the eyes. I'm still going to go in. And I'm going to go in over that highlight, too, just to kind of. I just love makeup. <laughs> I just do. I just do. And it, puts, it makes me happy. Now for blush. Um. I'm using the Sahara, the Juvie's Play Sahara, Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette. I guess I'll use this color. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and find a wig to put on and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am back with my winter theme cool grayish purple undertonish. Um, this lipstick is actually called Grace and it is from a local uh, makeup artist who has our also beauty salon and she is fabulous. Her name is... Nettie Kelly, like, how perfect is that? This is exactly the color, like the lip color that I was looking for for um, winter. It's cool tone, it's got a purpley undertone to it, and oh my gosh, I think it's so pretty. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and add this Fenty Confetti in the middle. You know what? I'm gonna put it on my finger because I don't want to stain the, the thing on here. But I don't know if you can see that. like it makes it like really pouty just right dead in the middle Ooh, yeah I like it so what do you guys think um I've had this on for a minute now and uh, it looks dewy but not oily yeah I think it looks dewy. I don't think it looks. Let me get my mirror out of this edge I have. But yeah, it looks dewy. I was trying to blend my thing right there. That's what I was trying to do. It looks a little blended, but then it does. It doesn't. It kind of does. I don't want to care. Um, yeah. Look at that. Very pretty. I don't have huge lips, but sometimes I want them to look a little pouty, which is why I put it right in the middle. Right in the middle. I'm just glowy. 
All right, guys, that is it. If you stay to the end, because I know this is a long video, thank you so much. If you have not subscribed and you think this video is interesting and you want to see more, then please subscribe and share it with someone that helps to grow my channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, other than that, oh my gosh, it didn't even get on my teeth because I'm usually stuck on my teeth and this did not get on my teeth. I have to show you guys some before and after. I just ramble at the end of videos. But yeah, I was doing the um, Invisalign and so um, I just finished, so I'm just waiting on my retainer, but yeah, I had spaces here. Yeah, I've got like baby teeth, but yeah, I funny smile. Yeah, but that is it. As always, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.